All right, I think we got it up. Yep. All right, hello everybody. Hello friends, family, fans of fest events. Thank you for joining us. My name is uh, Jordan Lett. I'm the marketing director at Norfolk Fest Events. This is my fiance Taylor, and this is our nine month old son, Jackson. Uh, we are here this evening as a part of the Norfolk Fest Events Stay at Home Schedule of Events. It's a, a series of virtual events that we've been uh, streaming live on our Facebook over the last week and a half. Um, and we've got a couple more events throughout the rest of the week, um, but essentially just bring in family friendly programming, live entertainment, uh, culinary like sort of seminars, um, all straight to the, the safety and comfort of your own home during these very weird times. Um, tonight's theme is story time. So we've got a couple books that we're going to read to Jackson. Um, and Taylor's got an, uh, a third book that she's going to read for the, a little bit of the older audience that's able to stay up a little bit later than, than Jackson is because it's uh, starting to get near his bedtime. Um, I do want to mention that this is a, a part of a fundraiser that we're doing. Um, in these very tough times, uh, any donation that anybody's able to make, um, nothing, nothing is too small. Um, the entertainment and, and travel and tourism industry has been hit heavily by the COVID-19 crisis. Um, so we're just trying to raise as much money as we can um, by putting this on for all of our, our fans out there. Uh, so without any further ado, we're going to jump right in. And I'm going to start with Jackson's favorite story, which is Llama Llama Nighty Night. Dinner's over, tummy fed, llama llama, time for bed. Time to brush and fill the tub. Time to splish and splash and scrub. PJ's on, then potty time. Choose a book with silly rhymes. Snuggle in, turn out the light. Llama Llama, nighty night. So that was a quick short one that Jackson loves. We read that one to him every single night. I'm going to pass it over to Taylor, and she's going to read Jackson's second book here. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us. Um, the next book we're going to read is another one of Jackson's favorites. It's called Time for Bed. It's time for bed, little mouse, little mouse. Darkness is falling all over the house. It's time for bed, little goose, little goose. The stars are out and on the loose. It's time for bed, little cat, little cat. So snuggle in tight. That's right, like that. Time for bed, little cat, little cat. What happened today that made you laugh? It's time for bed, little foe, little foe. But don't play soul. It's time for bed, little fish, little fish. So hold your breath and make a wish. It's time for bed, little sheep, little sheep. The whole wide world is going to sleep. It's time to sleep, little bird, little bird. So close your eyes, not another word. It's time to sleep, little bee, little bee. Yes, I love you, and you love me. 
time to sleep, little snake, little snake. Good gracious me, you're still awake. I know, sleepy oh, okay, It's time to sleep, little pup, little pup. If you don't sleep soon, the sun will be up. <laughs> it's time to sleep, little dear, little dear. And one last kiss is almost here. The stars on high are shining bright. Sweet dreams, my darling. Sleep well. Good night. The end. So those were two of Jackson's favorite books that we read to him just about every single night. It's his bedtime now, so we're going to go ahead and put him down. We've got one more story, for all, like I had mentioned earlier, for all the, uh, the older kids out there that get to stay up a little bit later than Jackson's bedtime. Um, and Taylor's going to get into that right now. I do want to mention again, um, you know, if you're enjoying this, this, these programs that we're bringing to you all uh, through the Fest Events Stay at Home event series, um, it is a part of a fundraiser. Um, all the information and, and links to donate are in the description of the video. So please, if, if anything helps, no, no donation is too small for us. Um, and, and we appreciate anything that anybody's able to give. Um, so we're going to wave goodnight. Jackson, say goodnight to everybody. Say night-night. Say night-night. It's time to go night-night. Say bye-bye. <laughs> and... Uh, I'm going to pass it over to Taylor again, and she's going to go ahead and read this third book. All right, everyone, I'm going to move a little bit closer so I can really see the illustrations in this book. Um, before I get started, I wanted to say, first of all, yesterday was National Nurses Day. So to all the nurses out there, thank you so much. We appreciate you being on the front lines during this crisis, and we just cannot thank you enough. Um, Second, I want to give a shout out to all the teachers out there. So I'm actually a first grade teacher in Norfolk. And to all of my fellow teachers, happy National Teacher Appreciation Week. Um, thank you for all that you do. And I know your students appreciate everything that you are doing for them right now. And lastly, this one is for all the parents out there. Even though it's Teacher Appreciation Week, well, you guys have a lot, oh, a lot of you have now become teachers at home as well. So don't forget to celebrate yourself a little bit this week as well. Um, so the story I'm gonna read to you today, this is for some of the older kids that don't have to go to bed yet. It's called, Mr. Tiger Goes Wild. And I love this book. I hope you guys love it as much as I do. Now, before we get started, I do have a question. I wanna know, what do you guys already know about tigers? about tigers well i know tigers are a type of cat i know that they're big and i know that they are usually orange with black stripes and i know that tigers probably wouldn't like live in my house they might live in a jungle so if you look at this beautiful illustration what do you notice about mr tiger here what is he wearing he's wearing a tuxedo oh my goodness so if Mr. Tiger's wearing a tuxedo, does that tell us that this book is real or fake? Would it be nonfiction or fiction? It would be fiction, yes, because tigers don't really wear tuxedos. Okay. Mr. Tiger Goes Wild. Everyone was perfectly fine with the way things were. Everyone but Mr. Tiger. Mr. Tiger was bored with always being so full of. Good day, Mr. Tiger. Good day, Mr. Deer. Lovely weather we are having, I suppose. Indeed. Now, children, please do not act like wild animals. Wow. He wanted to loosen up. He wanted to have fun. He wanted to be wild. And then one day, Mr. Tiger had a very wild idea. I want you to take a minute and make a prediction. What do you think his wild idea is? What is Mr. Tiger gonna do? Hmm. <gasps> 
is he doing? He is walking on all four paws. He felt better already. Look at all those other animals looking at him. Hmm. Mr. Tiger became wilder and wilder each day. All right, I know you guys know what word this is, so we're going to say it together, and I want you to say it in your best tiger voice. Ready? One, two, three. Roar! Good job. His friends did not know what to think. Peculiar. Wow. Unacceptable. Hmm. And then... Mr. Tiger went a little too far. So if we look up close, we can see it looks like Mr. Tiger jumped in the fountain, swam all the way across, now he's standing out, and... <gasps> what happened to his tuxedo? His friends have lost their patience. Mr. Tiger! If you must act wild, kindly do so in the wilderness. What does wilderness mean? Well, wilderness is somewhere in the wild, like the forest or the jungle. What a magnificent idea. So Mr. Tiger ran away. Into the wilderness. Look at this illustration of the wilderness for a second. In this illustration, I see so many things. I'm seeing some waterfalls in the wilderness. I see some big trees, a lot of big trees. I'm seeing some bushes. And I even see some fish down here swimming in the water. Where he went completely wild. All right, you guys, we're going to roar again, but this time it's going to be your wild tiger roar. Are you ready? One, two, three. Roar! But Mr. Tiger was lonely. He missed his friends. He missed the city. He missed his home. So Mr. Tiger decided to return. And he found that things were beginning to change. What are all the other animals doing in this illustration? They're crawling on all four paws, too! Now, Mr. Tiger felt free to be himself. And so did everyone else. The end. Well, I hope you guys loved this story as much as I did. And before we go, I actually have a good night question for you. So in our story, Mr. Tiger Goes Wild. Mr. Tiger wanted to be wild. Being wild made him happy. It made him special and it made him himself. So my question for you is, what makes you happy? What makes you special? And what makes you yourself? So I want you to think about that tonight. Um, again, thank you so much for joining us, reading this story. I love it. I hope you loved it, too. Yeah, we really appreciate everybody joining us, um, coming into our home for the evening and joining us for story time tonight. Um, you know, uh, for more information on similar programs to this one um, that we're doing for the Fest Events Stay at Home event series can all be found on our website. The link is also in the description of the video. Um, as I mentioned a couple of times already, um, this is a part of a fundraiser that we're doing right now. Um, anything that anybody is able to, to help us out with is, is greatly appreciated. And uh, no donation is too small for us. Um, 
and all the information to all that the donate the donation link is in the link in the uh, description as well as the website um we've got a couple more concerts live performances that we'll be streaming from our facebook um a, a, another crazy culinary questions with cocktails um session and a couple more so be sure to check out our website um and we look forward to seeing everybody else uh later on this week thanks for being here thanks guys <laughs>